Alright, I'm working on the sheepy pants longies pattern right now. And I'm about to do the sh short rows. And I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to do the short rows for it. And this is using the uh, yarn over wrap and turn method. So I'm, I'm at my, this is my center marker. And I'm going to knit it. It's kind of a little loose because I changed colors there, so... Anyway, so I slip my marker. And then I'll go ahead and it says... For mine, I'm going to be knitting 14. It says to turn, so I literally take my work and I flip it. So that way it's like this. I take this and I wrap it like that, like so. And that's called the yarn over. And then I'll take it and I'll knit back, or I'll purl back. Alright, now I'm at my marker. I'm going to slip my marker. And then I'm going to continue to purl 10 more, or 14 more, back. So purl that. Alright, see i got 14 that I've purled back after the marker. I'm going to go back. Push it back in. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to turn again. Just flip it back over. Yarn over, grab it, pull the yarn back to that. Then now I'm going to knit. Just leave the light just like that. Knit. And grab it. Alright, and now I'm just going to knit. I'll knit back to the marker, then I'll knit 14 or 13 more. Alright, so you can see where my gap is right here. Alright, I'm going to be knitting to this, I'm going to knit this next one, which is the one before the gap. Knit that, and then I will be knitting the one before the, the two between the gaps. Like, so here's the gap, I'll be knitting this one and this one together. So I'll just come back over, I'll grab those two, I'll just pull up in between both of them, and knit them together. Like so. And I usually hold this, I usually do a pretty tight knit when I do that, so that way it helps hold that toll. So, I'll continue knitting around. Alright, I'm about to get near the gap. Here's my gap here. That's my yarn over. Here's the gap, and then here's the one there. So, I'm going to knit to the, as the pattern says, you're going to knit to the, um, Knit two around until one stitch before the second yarn over. So yarn over this one stitch before. The part of pattern pattern actually asks you to um, slip slip in the knit. So you would slip these two and then put the left needle in and knit them together. I, however, do not do that. I actually do a slip one. So I slip slip it knit wise. Then I knit one. And I do that knit pretty tight. Then I take that one and I slip it past the slip stitch over that one. And then I just continue on. And it's called that, that's called a slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over. Over, you pass it over the knitted one you just knitted. 
also and that actually concludes your short row and as you can see if we go back here you can't even really see where that occurred at there's like no gap there there's a made a little gap there but it actually when you start knitting it'll close it right up and if we come back over here and look see I think the gap was right here I can't even find the gap so I think it was right here <laughs> Count it, I'll figure it out. One, all right, so that gap was like right here. I mean, you can't even see it. So, that is how to do a short row. And so, the next one, you would just continue to knit around and around until you get to what you're supposed to next, and then you would insert into this, the next row just like this one it would be the same. Alright, hope that helps you.